All right, guys, that was hammer strength. Hammer power. power hammer power. And um, I think I've done this three times already. I'm in week five of hammer and chisel. So, whoo, what'd you think? She's been bugging me to do hammer <laughs> and chisel since she started. And I just finished Asylum 1 on Tuesday. Today's Friday. So I promised her that between now and Monday, I would uh, do some hammer and chisel with her. And she keeps telling me, and all my friends, like Chad Stage over at Next Level Fitness, everybody keeps saying how much they love this program. And it was the first time I've ever done any of Well, we did the sneak we peek. We did a sneak peek. Yeah. That's the first time I've really done one of the one of the workouts. The one we did was like 17 minutes, so it's hard to gauge. Yeah, this one was 38. As you can tell by my shirt and armpits, I sweat. I mean, it's like you said, she, asked, she kept asking me, is your heart rate up? And it does. I mean, you're not doing cardio, but when you're doing those Dead jerks lifts, yeah. and clean and um, all those, you know, the clean lifts and the squats and all that stuff, it gets your heart rate up. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm I sweating. sweat more than I sweated more than I thought I would. Yeah. And without doing any cardio, and it was a different style of weightlifting for me that I'm not mm -hmm. used to. Mm -hmm. um, and was, I really this was liked more it. Like a, it was hammer power, so it was more of a power lifting, um, power lifting workout. Yeah. So where you're using light, medium, and then heavy. Yeah. So it was it was good. It was a lot of building on, and um, it was good. I, I, I like it. I really liked it. I was actually no, I don't want to say I was surprised, but and the reason why I wasn't surprised was because she kept telling me how much I was gonna like it. Yeah. And Chad was telling me last night how much I was gonna like it. So for that reason, I'm not shocked that I liked it. But it was like for me, form is an issue because it's the first time I've ever done it. So I know I, I know my form was probably off on the deadlifts. Um, because I kept wanting to bend my knees more than I probably should. Yeah, he does bend his knees in there. He does tell you to bend your knees a little but bit. But, so. you know, I mean, if you're watching this, as you're watching different stuff that we did while we're talking, my form was probably off on some of the stuff. But being it was the first time I've ever done it, I felt good about what I was able to do. And I know that next time I do it, it'll be better. And do I would also... Do you think it helped, too, that I, that I had done it and I told you about the, yeah. the light, medium, and heavy? Because yeah. you probably would have thought lights for you would have probably been 20s, right? Yeah, lights for me were 10s, mediums were 20, heavy was 25. Right. I might have been able to go heavier than 25 on the heavies, but not on all of them, but on some of the jerk moves I could have maybe done 30s. But um, it was good. I mean, I, I could see people that do CrossFit liking this workout. Absolutely. So, like, if you're a CrossFit person and you don't want to spend the money on the membership and you want to still do a lot of, and you've got the weights at home, this could be something you could do to save a little money or do it in addition to CrossFit since you can't, maybe you don't go to CrossFit every day. Um, but I definitely liked it. Yeah, yeah. It was good. So, you're starting Volume 2 soon. I'm and starting volume, volume 2. Yeah, I'm starting Asylum Volume 2 on Monday after the Super Bowl. And then when I get done with that, we're going on a cruise and then I'm going to start it. Yeah, we're gonna do a round together. Yeah, hammer and chisel. So I'm excited about it. I can't wait. Yeah. And I actually, you know who who would like this? Who? My tennis coach, Mike. Yeah, absolutely. So, all right, guys, we'll see y'all later. Peace out.